And welcome to Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. So this is a dating simulator where um, you get to date various people from the from Normal Boots and Hidden Block. Yeah, it's crazy. So you got like um, you got John Tron, you got uh, People Are Gamer, you got uh, Gerard the Completionist, you got all these different people, like all these big big YouTubers, and they're a dating sim. This is crazy, so, um, hopefully one day I'll be in a game like this, right? Right? Okay, yeah, I know I only have 112 subscribers right now, but I'm just saying, hopefully one day I'll be big enough to be in a game like this. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, um... Let's, let's just play. So I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm not even sure that this is going to record right now. I'm not even sure it's going to be uh, recorded properly. The train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan, whisking me farther and farther away from home. Okay. Across from me sat a boy, his face half buried in a newspaper. wonder who it could be. He was deeply entrenched in whatever article he was reading and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I asked if I could join him in the last compartment with any available space. Uh, Alright, who is it? Come on. He shrugged and nodded and adjusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. It had been almost an hour, in fact, and he hadn't one lo once looked at me. The void of conversation I took instead to counting the buttons on the pre pretentiously lush Caroline seat cushions. One, two, three, twenty-one, twenty-two, and so forth. Over and over and over. Now, now and again I turned to look out the window where the trees were blurring by. Sometimes the smeared green would break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. Oh, this is actually kind of pretty. Damn, look at the view out the window. That's that's nice. This whole train is freaking insane. God damn, they got window blinds and everything. What? <laughs> Eventually, this rapidity... Uh, made my stomach churn and I went back to counting the buttons on the seat cushions. One, two, three. The train compartment shuddered around us. Uh oh. Is shit getting real or are we about to do a Nathan Drake sort of thing? I don't know. My eyes wandered to the boy in his jacket. It wasn't the school issued blue that I and the other students on the train were wearing. Instead, it was a green varsity-like jacket with an embroidered patch poorly sewn on the front. Could be the normal boots club. Who could this boy be? I want to know already. Bro, Jared. Woo! Dude, if I ever got to sit beside Pro Jared on a freaking train, that would make my damn day. Jared, if you're watching this, bro, respect. So you're a first year then. He folded his newspaper neatly, set it in his lap, and looked at me with a half-interested grin. Grace? He's not a cow. Gaze. Did he just catch me staring? Now that the paper was gone, I saw his face. He watched me through heavy-lidded eyes. His hair was immaculately groomed, his teeth straight and blindingly bright. That was cheesy. 
There's something about him, the way the light hit him, that made him look like he was almost... Sparkling? Uh-oh. Jared is Edward from Twilight Confirmed! Okay. Me? <laughs> Wait. Is that Jared's actual laugh? He glanced around the compartment, empty besides us, and laughed. Oh, uh, no, I'm not first year, I'm a third year. The train began to slow, metal wheels groaning against the metal tracks. The sudden shift threatened to rob me of what was left in my stomach, but I closed my eyes and took a deep breath, willing to- willing myself to keep it together. Just saying, you're in firm pro Jared, it would- it, it would be- well, it wouldn't be perfectly fine, but it would be perfectly understandable if you lost your lunch right now. I'm just saying. What kind of impression will I leave puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy? The boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton skirt. That's not possible. I've never seen you before. It took me a moment of mouth fishing to find a response. I, uh, it's uh, because I'm a transfer student. He laughed again. A transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. I removed my acceptance layer from the front pocket of my uniform. The, the paper heavyweight, off-white, had accumulated creases from my reading and rereading as if the words might have changed since the last time I read it. The boy took it, studied it, then handed it back to me. I'll see you around. That was actually Jared. Well then, Hannah, I suppose I'll be seeing you around. He smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him. By the time I hiccuped... How do you hiccup a response? Hiccuped a response, he's already gone from the compartment. I stared out into the empty hallway of the train. It was then that I realized he, having gotten, gotten it from my acceptance letter, knew my name and I never got his. It's pro Jared, how could you not? Have you been living under a YouTube rock? The train sailed at the station and I filed out with the rest of the uniformed students. It was early April, so like a month ago at this point, and the last frost of winter had come and gone. The trees were already green, their leaves shivering in the occasional gust weaving through them. The air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. This is actually some damn beautiful prose, I'm not gonna lie. I walked along the road with the swarm of blue jacketed bodies looking at the little groups breaking off from the crowd. Everyone was buzzing so animatedly around me. I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. In my sweaty hands is leather bound and worth more than anything it contained. It wasn't far to the school and I was, for maybe the first time in my life, thankful that I, uh, uh, that what I owned didn't amount to much. Okay, reasonable. So if you don't, so if you lose something, you know, you don't, uh, you don't have to like pay for it that much. You don't lose that much money. I'm gonna abandon that thought there. My school issued black oxfords click click clicked on the pavement. I want this over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake imagining what it would be like to walk from the train station to Asagao Academy this first time. A new start. I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk. That somehow Everything would be magically different. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. I hadn't changed. By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, 
I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. What? By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. Just continue. Uh, the school framed by the gates twisting black metal was just as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in its pamphlets. Black metal gates, dude! Woo! Black metal! Well, this is thrash. But still, black metal, dude. This is it. Asagao Academy. I glanced around. The swarm of students gathered around the gate. Beyond it, the tiny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. A girl pressed the button to one side of the gate. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. A few moments later, the black gate, with great effort, creeped outwards and cleared the pathway. As the rest of the group shifted into motion, I followed al along as sheep in the herd. My stomach tied itself into knots. Damn! I wanna know what kind of school this is! God damn, look at that! Why is it that every school in Japan, according to these, like, like, uh, to these, like, uh, Dating Sims is like seriously the best damn school you could ever go to. Why is that? I want to know. I want to. I want to move to Japan. If that's the kind of shit that I'm gonna be dealing with at college, I want to move to Japan. Sorry. Like, seriously. I mean, look at the fucking windows. They're mirrors. Ah, uh, okay. This is apparently the best damn school ever. And, uh, like... Yeah. The crowd split off into different directions. For a moment, I panicked. A tired-looking man with graying hair called out for first year as a cluster of fresh-faced students gathering around him. Hey, hey, hey! Look at that girl! Oh boy. Okay, th thank you. That's that's nice. I turned. A few feet away, a small group of boys were pointing at me and snickering. Pink, are you kidding me? Fuck you, posh boy. Fuck you. How dare you? Respect the pink, bro. Fucking degenerate. Tall boy, how desperate can you get? Well, fuck you too, dude. Hot shame crawled down my neck. I attached myself to a group of girls following a few steps behind them. In the distance, cicadas hummed in time to my shoes crunching against gravel. Kind of like a Disney movie. My hair. It wasn't my fault that it looked like this. Luckily, I, I found myself at the girls' dormitory, a large sign in the lawn reading Primrose House. The building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. How many students did Asagao have? Wow, you're hot. Damn. Is it weird that I'm a l just a little bit attracted to this girl right now? I mean, like... Uh, aside from the fact that I'm playing... Well, okay. A girl being attracted to girls, there's nothing wrong with that. Just like there's nothing wrong with a dude being attracted to a dude. Because I'm not like... Uh, I'm not like one of those people who hates on gay people. But, like... She's an anime girl. Is that, is that weird? Because I think that's that's certifiably in, like, creep territory. 
As I approached the building, a red-headed girl lingering nearby caught my attention. Damn, she's got pretty eyes. I'm just gonna move on. I looked away, then looked back. She was staring at me. She walked over. Oh, you must be my roommate! Really? I eyed her wearily. She was smiling and bouncing in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncy castle. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Calm it down, MCC. You got this. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't know why they made me laugh so hard. <laughs> A perpetual bounty castle. <gasps> okay. Calm it down, you got this. <sighs> what? Me? Bingo. Of course she's silly, let me guess. Room 325? I thought back to the paper I received a month prior with a list of all the supplies I needed for the year and my dorm arrangements. Uh. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> she laughed, but I couldn't figure out what was so funny. Was she laughing at me? When I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were going to be a total main character. Well, you got that right, because I guess technically I am. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh what? Mm -hmm. When I saw you outside the gate, I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair! Pink! I felt a lump forming in my throat. What was she talking about? She had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus and I was already being mocked. What the fuck is my life? My hand began my hands began to tribble. Tribble? My hands began to tremble, I'm sorry, just that whole laughing sort of frelled me up. Is is there is there something wrong with my hair? Her face Slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression. Then she began to laugh again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, It's great, I'm sorry. Um. Okay. That's good, thank you. Well, that sounds like ending music, quite frankly, so I think I'm gonna leave Asagao Academy here. This is gonna be interesting. Like, <laughs> just. If the rest of the game is this hilarious, then this is going to be really good. So, um, if you like this video, go ahead, bitch, lift that like button. If you really, really liked it and you want to see more, go to that subscribe button. Hey, I've been MC Zinman. You've been awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. MCZ out. It's kind of hot. I, I can't hate. I can't hate. <laughs>